Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we have a delicious cobia taco and a navel orange mojito pairing. We're going to start with the mojito with a couple sprigs of mint leaves. Then we're going to add about half of a lime. We're going to juice it and about half of a navel orange juiced as well. Then we're going to muddle this together until all the flavors are nice combined. And then we're going to add about two ounces of simple syrup. To that, we're going to do a heavy pour of about four ounces of white rum. Uh, I like my drinks strong, so I always pour them strong when I make them for myself. To our tumbler, we're going to add a couple of ice cubes, and then we're going to place the cap on and give it a vigorous shake before removing the cap, adding just a touch, maybe an ounce or two of Sprite. Uh, I didn't, couldn't find any tonic or soda water at my local alcohol store. And we're going to give that one good shake before we remove it. You don't want to shake that up too much because it'll foam and fizz everywhere. Then we're going to pour over a nice hefty ice cube in my glass of choice. And we're going to dive in and give this a taste. Cheers. And just as I expected, this mojito was absolutely delicious. The orange is a nice complement oh, to the mint and the rum. Oh, and you really can't go wrong. This is a great pick-me-up for really any occasion, any day of the week. For our pico, we're going to do a half of a diced red onion. This is how I do mine with a, some angled cuts uh, around the, I guess, half of the circumference of the onion. And you get pretty much perfect onions every time. Our onions, we're going to take and add to two vine ripe tomatoes that we have already diced. Uh, pretty simple. You cut it in slices and then you dice it. Uh, we're going to add all of the onion to that. And then we're going to take a quarter of a lime and a quarter of a lemon each. And then we're going to squeeze the juice into that. A couple turns of fresh cracked sea salt and a couple turns of fresh cracked peppercorns as well will always be a great addition. Um, I also like to add just a little bit of adobo and a pinch of paprika just to give it a little color. To our mix we're going to add one finely diced jalapeno. I got about a medium sized jalapeno and then we're just going to give that a really good mix. Make sure everything's all combined and homogenous before having another sip of our delicious mojito and chopping up some cilantro. Can't have pico without the cilantro. We're going to add that to our bowl and give it one final mix, making sure again everything is all mixed and homogenous before refrigerating until ready to use. Next we are on to our sweetened lime cream. We're going to take some sour cream, about a teaspoon of coriander and cumin, add a quarter of a lime juice and maybe a tablespoon of honey before giving that a good mix. Really flavorful, really adds nice creamy texture and a sweetness to the tacos. We're going to get a cast iron skillet hot with just a touch of olive oil until it starts to smoke and then we're going to add our butterfly cobia filet that we've already seasoned on one side. We're going to cook just until the edges start to turn white. That's when you know it's time to flip it. After I flipped, I squeezed about another quarter of a navel orange over top of the fish and covered it really briefly with the dome just to help it finish cooking. Uh, you know this kind of fish, white flaky fish, is ready when it flakes very easily to the touch. Then we're going to take our uh, warm tortilla shells and line the bottom with lettuce and then put a little sliver each of our cobia filet, uh, dividing it amongst the three tacos into the taco shells. Then we're going to top our cobia with just a little bit of shredded cheddar, our lime cream sauce, and of course our pico on top. This was my first time having cobia and I must say these tacos were absolutely amazing. The pico and the lime cream go perfectly well with the seasoning and the fish and you really can't go wrong with a mojito. Once again, thank you for watching. If you like, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.